the final day of 12 days of Christmas tactics videos some people no names expecting me to have a Christmas jumper today and I don't I have the exact same top as the last video it's almost like I'm recording this five minutes later as the last video and I am but today we are covering the 442 second variant more defensive one two CDMs instead of the center mids Pretty similar tactics, or in all honesty, to the 442 itself, as you would expect. One difference on one of the CDMs that you kind of have to compensate for, but that's about it. And that's pretty similar. But without further ado, 150 likes is the goal on this final tactics video for Christmas. Hope you guys have a, have a Merry Christmas as well. Probably should have started with that, but oh well. Subscribe if you're new, click notifications. Let's get into the video. Are you fed up of coming against God Squad game in and game out? What? If so, make sure to head over to u7buy.com using the link in the description below. And don't forget to use code RAN at checkout for an extra little discount. And you guys can enjoy up to 15% off over the Christmas and New Year promo period. You know, I might be tempted to fully switch to this 4-4 to same variation formation. I can see why a lot of pros are actually using it instead of regular. Four for do like the defensive element in comparison. Really, really nice. But anyways, I know you guys are here for tactics. Let's let's not waste no time. Let's go straight in. Defensive style starting off balanced. With once again, we're sticking with this kind of 40 whip trend at the moment. I feel like it just keeps you nice bit more tighter in the back. And I feel like you really don't miss out because People like switch it in midfield and stuff, cool. But when it when it gets to like the final third and you know, places where it's scary to get like an overlap, man, it doesn't really happen on 40, but you're pretty okay and it makes it a lot harder down the middle. But I do recommend this step. Chilling out lovely. 65. Check down to 40 if you want an old gen. If you're scared of true balls, definitely lower that. Otherwise, feel free to keep it at that. It's up to you. Build up play, chance creation. You know, for defense, we like to keep balance. Balance, balance, super overrated. Save in every formation. The other stuff is nice and definitely adds extra possibilities. But balance, balance, you should always be given a go for the first time you try any formation and kind of go from there and find what works. Because especially with a 4 foot 2 second variation, such standard formation, balance, balance away with... 50, we're keeping the width, we got left and right mids. L let's stretch out the defense, let's keep them there. That's the stuff, pretty standard. Comes to instructions on the strikers. We got a whole lot of nothing, whole lot of nothing. You can go come back on defense. The reason I'm not actually using come back on defense, two things. One, there's just such a big gap between the strikers and the CDMs. It's rarely worth it. That's the first reason. Number two, what you're wanna, gonna want to do is use the striker comeback or striker's drop back tactic in game, which overrules this and puts them back further than the comeback on defense instruction. So make sure you're doing that if you're gonna have your strikers come back. Otherwise, you can actually just leave them and use them for the counter attack instead. Right mid, we got come back in defense, come side, get in behind. Pretty standard instructions. You kind of know what they all do. I'm not going to explain them. It's just a waste of time. Have you maybe thinking, why not get into box across? Well, the left and right mids kind of sit deep anyways, and neither of mine are good at heading. They're not really going to get in the shooting position. The only thing it would be, would be for back post header, and these guys aren't winning headers. So I said, you know what? It's just not worth it. Uh, without putting getting a box on as well, it means they're a bit deep back. It means they stop counterattacks a lot better, especially paired up with that comeback on defense. So that's how I like to run it. Same, of course, on the left mid. Now, here's where the difference will be. Get forward on my attacking CDM as well. I'm running this. Acts as a fake cam. Something I used to do last year. Beautiful. Love it. Really effective. For this, you kind of do want somebody with five star weak foot to be able to let it driven pass quite fast on either foot. And also you want good dribbling and pace because dribbling, obviously, they're going to be ball carrying, but pace because they get up the pitch a lot and they're going to have to dash back to kind of fill that and get back in. So they will be missing. And if they don't have fast pace to get back, that can be an issue. Side them, you got your traditional CDM. Obviously, I've had for Fana for ages. But anybody that's kind of good defensively, like your Kante's, etc., you want to use stay back cover center. Full backs just stay back, nothing crazy at all. Attacking, very similar to my main 442 tactics. If you don't know how to attack with direct passing, please watch my video on it. Great video, 
great great video i'll link it in the description below it, it literally tells you how to absolutely exploit it so i'm not even going to talk about it in this video because i wouldn't be doing it justice i have a proper video on it with gameplay etc explaining what you do anyways you guys can read that for yourself take that down copy that easy on to instructions we go now on this i shall can't come back on defense once again, put the instruction on as well. I don't know, do they stack? I don't think they do, but I just did it anyways. Uh, because with drag passing, they like fly off the pitch. So my theory is, come on defense might help them get back a bit faster. Because they sit basically in the opponent's box when you're attacking. I don't know. Does that make that much of a difference? If I'm being honest, but hey, might as well. On right and left mids, we got come back on defense and then come short we also because of how we're playing with direct passing we don't want them cut inside we want them out wide go on defense obviously just help defense come short i explained in the direct passing video but basically it's because with direct passing they essentially aren't getting behind and they run offside too much so come short counteracts that and leaves them available for the pass then cdm would doing the same thing as with balance with the get forward keep him on stay back and then fullbacks of course stay back so these tactics a little bit different for you guys. Definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to think about running your offense through the CDM. But man, it can be very nice. If you have like the signature series, the Bruin, or Zidane, or like a Hullet, you're going to love that role. Anyways, guys, that was today's video. Nice to snap. You just got to the point. Make sure you watch the right passing video if you want to use that. Learn how to exploit it. 150 likes to go, as always. Subscribe if you're new. Maybe click on notification bell, because otherwise you guys are just not going to get notifications and not going to see the videos. And then people ask me, have you done this video? And I have, but I never got a notification. Tragic, tragic series of events. But anyways, guys, until next time, have a great Christmas. Happy holidays. N happy New Year, maybe, as well. I don't know. Will there be another upload in time? So just, ha just have a great time, guys.